hey guys so welcome back to my channel today I have a different video um, for you guys it's been a highly requested video but I've got a lot of, a lot of questions on how I do my makeup different when I'm wearing glasses if you want to see how I got this look and how I normally wear my makeup when I'm wearing glasses and stuff just keep watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below and also hit the like button all right, I'm going to start with moisturizer, and I'm going to be using the Dr. Jart Water Drop Moisturizer. This one, I really, really like it. It's like a super lightweight moisturizer. So you always want to moisturize your skin regardless if it is oily. Always, always, always moisturize. All right, and next you want to go in with a primer. Because when you're wearing glasses, it tends to get like kind of oily through here, and this is what you want to avoid. You don't want the foundation to separate here or on the nose you want it to stay in place so a foundation is gonna I mean a primer is gonna work as that barrier and kind of work as like glue so it's gonna help the foundation stick to the face I'm gonna use the Farsali essence now whenever I am wearing glasses I always go for the Urban Decay D slick primer now this one right here is like extremely mattifying it definitely stays in place it does what it says it's going to do, but this is one I only use on my nose because it's way too dry for the rest of my face. So what I do is I take that primer and I work it into the skin. Just on my nose, every time I wear glasses, my nose tends to get really oily. Focus this product where you're going to need it most. So right where your glasses normally lays, like right there, you know? And also you can do a little bit like underneath of the eye, not under the eye, but you know, where your glasses sit. All right, and next I'm gonna go in with the Farsali one. I just like this one because it does get tacky. You want a primer that's gonna be tacky on the skin. Try to avoid anything, if you are really oily, try to avoid anything that does um, have silicone in it. Cause silicone and oil does not mix and you don't want it to separate. All right, next I'm going to go in with foundation. And you want to use a foundation that you know is long-wearing. And if possible, something that is transfer, transfer proof, uh, transfer resistant, transfer. It's not going to transfer. The only one that I do wear whenever I'm wearing glasses is the Estee Lauder Double Wear. Now, this one is like my go-to. It like literally wears all day. It doesn't budge. I don't have any issues with it. And you want to go with something that is transfer resistant because I've noticed with some foundations especially like the um, Maybelline fit me foundation if I wear glasses with that foundation it comes off so bad like right here and right on my nose because it does transfer <clears throat> so find something that's not going to transfer so easily also um, the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation, that one works really well with glasses. What else? Also the Anastasia um, Foundation Stick, because that one is targeted for people with oily skin. Anything you want it to be a matte finish foundation. It doesn't have to be, but it works a little bit better. Okay, next I go in with concealer. Anytime you do use a concealer some people think some people oh that can run some people think just because they do wear glasses they're not able to wear concealer under the eye the only thing with it is you want to set it with a powder and this one I absolutely love the Laura Mercier powder this one is it does give you that like soft matte finish but it stays in place like the powder literally lasts all day um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do concealer okay so once your concealer is on you can go ahead and set your face. And I like to set with a little bit more powder whenever I am wearing um, glasses. You really wanna set your under eye and your nose because you don't want the glasses to slip off the face or get really oily and you don't want the foundation to separate on the nose. And I do use a beauty blender when I'm doing this step because it just presses the powder into the skin. And I know it looks like a lot of powder. It is a lot of powder, but just set it. All right, so I'm gonna let that bake for like maybe like a minute. Now I'm gonna move on to the eye makeup. Actually, let me get a little bit more, just in case there's fallout. 
So whenever you are doing eye makeup and you wear glasses, you do want to go a little bit more intense with the eye look. Um, depending on your frames as well. So like these frames right here for me, I wouldn't go as intense, as intense because they are smaller frames. So something like a nice cat eye or just keep it a little bit darker on the um, outer corner of the eye. Just to kind of open the eye a little bit more. Now with frames like these, which these are a little bit bigger, these you can wear, actually, let me see, I have contacts in so I don't want to hurt my eyes. But these right here, you could do different looks, but you can go a little bit more bold with these because you can see more of the eye. So opposed to these, yeah. So depending on if you switch, if you're the type of person you switch your glasses every other day, go for something different. But if you're, if you strictly only have like one pair of glasses, then I would kind of keep it. But to each his own, so. Yes, I already did my brows off camera, which now they have powder in. But whenever you are wearing glasses, you do want to have a nice clean brow because if not, you're really going to be able to tell. You want to keep your brows clean when you are wearing glasses. If you go in and like your brows are just not cleaned up, you're really going to be able to tell. Alright, and for the look, I'm just going to use the Subculture palette right here. Alright, so I'm going to go in with Dawn, the shade right here. And I'm just using a Sigma, I mean, just kidding, a Morphe E27 brush just to blend that in. This is just going to be a transition shade. I'm going to go in with Roxy, this shade right here. And I'm just using a Morphe 441 brush. And I'm going to keep this right in my crease. You want to make the crease a little bit darker because when you do have glasses on, it's harder to see the eyeshadow and where it's placed. So always go in a little bit darker than you normally would. Next, I'm going to go in with Fudge in the palette, and it's the dark brown shade. And you want to use um, just a nice transition. You want to use something a little bit deeper in your crease, and then something darker on the outer corner. You don't want to close out the eye, because once you do have those frames on the face, it's going to look kind of um, closed off, and you want it to be really open and bright and kind of draw attention to the face instead of pull away. So I'm going to go in with a Sigma E25 brush and dip into fudge. And I'm going to pack that on my outer corner. And you can flick the darker shade out a little bit. And you can see I'm keeping that dark brown shade right on the outer corner. Not dragging it completely into the inner corner. Now you can start to see how the outer corner is definitely darker than the inner corner and I'm going to place a shimmer which you if you're not a fan of if you're not a fan of um, shimmer eye shadows eye shadows you can go ahead and place like a light matte shade but with this palette I really want to use the shimmer. So now I'm going to go ahead and place the shimmer right on the lid because that's where you want to draw the attention to. And I'm just going to use an E56. And I'm going to go into this shade right here. And this is the shade Cube. I'm going to use my finger to apply it because I want it to be a little bit more intense. If you like doing winged eyeliner, you can definitely go in with some winged eyeliner. Um, it's definitely optional, whatever you prefer. So if you were going in with eyeliner and you were wearing glasses, I would go with like a smaller wing, something that's going to like pop out on the, um, actually I'm going to go ahead and just do eyeliner. So I'm going to do a small eyeliner, only because you don't want it to be too thick. Once again, you don't want to close out the eye. So you want it to be pretty small, but still kind of draw back a little bit to open up the eye. Okay, so now that I have my eyeliner on, and you can tell it's just a really small wing, it's nothing too crazy. Um, I am going to go ahead and apply some mascara. Now, whenever you do wear your glasses, some people do like to do falsies. I personally don't because I find the way that my eye um, is like set up. So right here, I have trouble if I have lashes on. Like I feel like it just constantly is touching my glasses and I hate the way that feels. So I'm just going to um, pop on some mascara. 
Okay, and the same for the bottom lash line. Whenever you're applying your eyeshadow, you still want to you want to keep the eye open and um, draw attention to the center of the face instead of closing it up completely. So you don't want to do a dark under eye. Of course, you can go in and smoke it if you want to a little bit. I'm gonna go in with that shade Roxy right here, and I'm gonna put that on my bottom lash line. All right, and then I'm gonna go back in to fudge that brown shade in the palette. And I'm going to take a um, Morphe 432 brush, and it's just a flat end brush just like this. And I'm going to place it right on my outer corner. Great. Forgot how, pal how palette this pigmented is. So just taking a little bit of that fudge shade. Alright, and whenever you're picking your um, mascara, whenever you're wearing glasses, Depending on your lashes, if you have like a longer lash or you have thicker lashes, it's going to be a little bit different than if you weren't wearing glasses because you want something that's going to kind of curl the lashes. Something that, if you get something that's like really lengthening, which is fine um, for like every day, but if you have glasses on, you probably want something that's going to curl a little bit better. So I'm going to use the Benefit Roller Lash, but this one right here, like you can see that it does curl. So you want something that's going to help to curl the lash opposed to something that's going to give you more length and kind of like um, touch the glasses. That's what you want to avoid because it is very annoying. And I know if you guys wear glasses all the time, you know whenever you put mascara on sometimes, like it's touching the glasses and it's very annoying. You can definitely see how this mascara helped to curl my lashes and it does give volume still at the same time. Um, now as far as length, it does lengthen a little bit, but nothing too crazy. Whenever I'm applying mascara on the bottom lashes, I do like to have a little bit more of a chunkier lash. So I like to use the Lancome mascara, this one right here, because it, um, it just looks better on my bottom lashes. And you can notice, whenever I apply the mascara, I don't really come too far in because I want to keep the outer corners a little bit darker. Of course now I'm going to highlight. I'm going to go in with Oh Darling by MAC. Now one thing whenever you are wearing glasses, it's a good thing to highlight the inner corner of the eye because it does open the eye and it makes the eye look brighter, especially when you are wearing glasses. And then of course the brow bone. So just like you normally would do like your everyday makeup, but whenever you are wearing glasses, you want it to be a little bit more bold and you want to watch where you place your shadows. And as far as like face products, so whenever you're contouring the face, the um, applying blush or highlight or anything like that, you can still do all of that regardless. You can see where the glasses are going to sit on the face. You can still go in and contour just to kind of draw attention to um, the center of the face. Okay, and to contour, I'm just going to use the um, Kat Von D, the Shade and Light palette. I'm going to do a light contour, and I'm going to use the middle shade in the palette. And I'm just contouring with a small contour brush from Sigma. This one right here, and this one's a F05. Alright, and next I'm going to go ahead and bronze up the skin. And I'm just going to use the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. And just put a little bit on the skin. And next is highlight. So I'm going to use the MAC um, Highlight in Oh Darling. This one right here, it's really pretty. And I'm actually going to put my glasses on to see where it's going to sit. And yes, I know this brow is higher. It's just, I don't know what it is. It's always been like that. Alright, so right here you can see that there's my contour on each side. So it's still showing, so you're still able to apply highlight. I get a lot of um, clients that tell me that they're not able to wear highlight. They don't feel like they're able to wear it because of their glasses and where this sits. Alright, so next I'm going to go ahead and put a lipstick on. Now, when you are wearing glasses, you can go with something a little bit more bold. You can go with something um, a little bit more natural. If your frames are very bold, you can go with something a little bit more natural. But if your 
if you have on like basic frames like everyday frames like these or even these because these are like a little bit sassy because they do go up a little bit you can do a little bit more of like a bold lip so something like maybe red or something like that you can still see and with the look that I did you can see with both set of frames it does open the eye but this one it's a little bit darker because the frames are a little bit smaller but it's still um, kind of sort of kind of like an, uh, a cat eye so you can still see if you like to wear glasses here and there but you don't have to wear glasses this is just uh, like some little things that you can do to prevent foundation from creasing or wearing off throughout the day definitely messing with different primers that are going to work best for you definitely set with a powder regardless if you do have dry skin you really want to set those creams with a powder through this area and using a good foundation that's not going to wear off throughout the day. That is pretty much it. If you guys would like to see more videos like this or any other video, let me know in the comments down below.